This is Easton Jackson, and this is the next video about configuring eClinical Works Scribe function. In my last video, we discussed activating and enabling the Scribe function for your providers who want to use it. If you haven't yet done so, please go back and look at the last video. In this case, we're assuming that eClinical Works Scribe is now activated, and we want to configure it for this particular user. I have opened a progress note for, in this case, a fake patient and we're going to make sure that Scribe is enabled. The easiest way is to click on the Scribe button. And now you can see two windows. The left pane is the Scribe text window. The right pane is the progress note. If you want, you can close the right chart panel or the admin band using the green buttons here. Doing so will give you more real estate space on your screen. In this case, before we use Scribe, we're going to use a couple of shortcuts that eClinic Works has provided for us. If you hover your mouse over this page icon with a plus, you'll see a menu appear, and we're going to go to Download Dragon Macros and click on it. You'll be prompted to save a file called unzipme.zip. We're going to save that, and I'm going to put it in my Downloads folder, which has a subfolder called Dragon. I save it there. The file is extremely small and will download almost immediately. And you can now open the folder. You will see the file that we just downloaded from eClinical Works. You can either double click on it or right click on it. I'm going to right click and choose open. Your Windows installation may have a different Windows zip file program. So your view may look somewhat different than this, but all zip files extractors work in approximately the same way. I'm going to highlight all of the files that I want to download. The easiest way is to click the first one, hold down your shift key on your keyboard, and click the bottom one, and this will highlight all of them. And now I'm going to click Extract. Your Windows Unzip program may use slightly different terminology, but it should have the same function. I click Extract. It will ask me where I want to save it, and I'm going to put it in my Downloads Dragon folder that I've created, and I hit OK. Now I can close the window, and what you see in my Dragon download folder is eight scribe data files as well as a readme file. And here's our original zip file. If you double-click on the readme.txt file, you will get a description of what we are about to do. So I'm going to demonstrate this, but you can go back and read this and review it at your leisure if you encounter difficulties with the next step. Each one of these .dat files are data files that contain multiple commands for Dragon Naturally Speaking, and they are built specifically for eClinical Works Scribe and Dragon. What that means is we have to import these data files into Dragon Naturally Speaking. It's a little bit tedious, but you only have to do it once. To do so, you need to have Dragon Naturally Speaking running on your computer, and you need to open up the command browser. In my case, I just have the tray icon, and I'm going to right-click on it and choose Tools. Your Dragon installation may have an entire Dragon bar across the top or bottom or side window, which shows the commands. Whatever view you have, go ahead and choose the Tools command and go to Command Browser. If you'd like a shortcut for the future, you can also have Dragon itself open the command browser. You do this by giving it a command. I'm going to turn on Dragon. Open command browser. And I turn Dragon back off. What you can see is that is a native Dragon command. If you have Dragon on and you tell it open command browser, it will open the command browser. Now. I'm going to move these two windows to the side. Notice that in my commands, there are several of them listed, including some user-defined commands. If you've never made a custom Dragon command, I'd highly recommend that you watch my other video that talks about how to do it. They're very powerful and save a lot of time. In this case, we need to import each of these data files. What I'm going to do is go to My Commands, Import, and now it's going to ask me where the command is that I want to import. In this case, I've gone to my download folder. I'm going to the Dragon subfolder, and I want to import this one called Scribe Assessment Templates. I click it, click OK, 
and it shows all of the commands that are in here. And we'll go look at one or two of these. I'm just going to import them all. They're all checked, and I just hit import. They're successfully imported, and now notice I have a new folder here called Scribe Assessment Template Order Set, which are all the commands I just imported from these data files. I have to do this seven more times. Again, it's a little bit tedious, but you only have to do it once. So my commands, import, go to the next one, open, and hit import. Those are in, and I'm simply going to repeat this a total of eight times. I'm doing the same thing every time. I suppose there might be a more efficient way to do this, but I haven't been able to find it. And since I have only have to do it once, I just haven't worried about it. We're almost done. We've got two left. And finally, the last one. OK. Now I'm going to close my downloads folder. And now if you look down the side, you can see all these different folders that have different scribe commands in them. I'm going to click on this one called scribe, and we'll look at one. For example, let's take this one called HPI. This is a simple text command used by Dragon Naturally Speaking. If I click on it, I can open it up and you'll see the name of the command. And down here in the content is what the command does. In this case, whenever I say HPI into Dragon, it will create a new line, write HPI colon, and then another new line below it. We can now use this command within eClinicalWorks Scribe. I'm going to close the command browser, and we'll go to Scribe. Now, Scribe is designed so that you can use regular natural language and dictate a narrative that you would put in your progress note. But Scribe needs to know where in the note you're going to insert it. So I'm going to give an example here. I'm going to turn on Dragon, and then I'm going to give the Scribe command HPI. HPI. And I'll turn Dragon back off. What that did was, I started with my cursor here. I gave a Dragon command, in this case HPI. The name HPI causes the HPI command to run. In this case, it made a new line, it wrote HPI colon, and it put the cursor one line below. I'm now ready to dictate whatever I want. And then when I hit scribe, it will go into the correct section of the progress note. Let me demonstrate briefly. The patient is here for follow-up from a number of injuries, period. Overall, comma, he feels like he is getting better, period. No new complaints today, period. And I turn Dragon back off. Now, when I hit the Scribe It button, eClinicalWorks Scribe is going to send this text into the HPI Notes section of my progress note. I hit Scribe It. And now you can see in the progress note, here is what I just said. If you open up the HPI, then you can see it's down in the notes section of assessment. In this way, you can dictate a very long narrative with paragraphs and other formatting if you need, and then Scribe will know to stick it in the HPI section. In future videos in this series, I will show you some more complex commands to speed up your documentation using the combination of Scribe and Dragon. I should point out that the file that we downloaded, Unzip Me, was created by eClinical Works specifically for use with Dragon Naturally Speaking Medical Edition.